All right, today I'm going to show you guys how uh, I go about calibrating the IMU for the gimbal. Um, now, there's a couple of videos online that show you how to do this. Um, I do it a little bit differently because I think it may be a little bit more accurate. Uh, the reason I say that is um, there's one video where you tape this IMU down to a box. Now, if you look carefully, you can see there are raised pins on this side of the uh, sensor. And on this side, you can see there's um, a couple of circuits over here that are also raised. So you don't really have a very flat area to work with. Um, the most, the, the flattest area on this IMU right here is um, towards the front area without the pin. So if I was to place this down on a flat surface, you can see that there's gonna be an angle there. Um, the back is gonna be slightly raised. So what we have to do is we have to calibrate this um, on something smaller uh, that um, these, these little solder pins can protrude from. So right here I'm using a, um, a cubed level. And the reason why I'm using a cubed level is uh, you may think that your, your table is level, but as a matter of fact, it could be um, inaccurate. And, and my level here shows that I'm slightly off um, alignment with my, my table. So there's, this table is probably warped. Uh, so what I do is I can physically hold the cube uh, slightly upwards just to get the um, bubbles to balance in the middle uh, before hitting the uh, calibration on the software. So uh, we'll go through those steps right now. Basically what you're going to do is plug the unit in via USB. No battery. Uh, that way uh, none of the motors are going to be active. So you're just connecting via USB and the software should be able to communicate. Um, and then we're just going to remove this from the unit and get something fairly square. Uh, again, these levels are very cheap and it'll show you, physically show you, um, if, if you're leveling your, your IMU. So uh, we'll go ahead and go through the process. We're gonna start with up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, um, this part is the top part, uh, the Z axis, I guess they say. So I'm gonna hold this up. You notice that I'm gonna leave it off the edge here and that's because the pins are falling off to the side. So that's gonna give me a nice level um, start on my IMU. And so while I'm holding that down, I'm just gonna lift my, my cube up just so I can get my bubbles kind of centered. And then we're gonna hit calibrate on the software. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is uh, do the upside down one. So Again, I'm gonna hold it underneath here. Um, actually, I could rotate this. And I have the solder pins exposed here. So that way I'm, I'm doing this very flat. And I'm just gonna make sure that my, my bubbles are aligned as best as possible and hit calibrate. Now we're gonna do the left and right. It doesn't really matter which uh, direction you're doing this. So I'm gonna hold it uh, in this direction. Again, solder pins are exposed here. And I'm just gonna hold this until my bubbles are fairly accurate and hit calibrate. Okay, we'll do the other side here. And hit calibrate. Okay, so that's four of them. Now we're just gonna do the uh, the tilt here, roll. So again, see how the solder's uh, exposed there. And actually, let me flip this around. Look at it this, this direction. So I have to tilt my level just a little bit and go ahead and calibrate. And then we have to do just one more where this is uh, pointing up because we did this way, now we wanna do it up this way. So I'm gonna hold it this way. Again, you see the, the pins over here. I could, I could lay this down this way. Come off the edge and go ahead and calibrate. That's it. So we have six point calibration. Before we're doing each one, we're checking the level because Again, whatever surface you're using could be uneven, so something like this can probably get you more accurate results, which is very, very important when you're working with these gimbals. A, a slight degree off in this tiny sensor um, 
can change the entire angle uh, when you're going across this, this mass over here. So um, definitely grab one of these square cubes here, check your levels, because this table may look fairly straight to me, but according to this level, it's slightly off, and that could be enough to just throw things uh, off. And uh, again, these, these pins here, watch out for that. And then you definitely can't use this um, to calibrate as a surface. Some people are doing it this way, which I don't think works very well. Uh, you want to use just a flat surface, so you want to use something like this and then put it kind of off at the edge of a, a table and make sure that the, the bubbles are all lining up. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys to calibrate your IMU for your gimbal. Um, I'm finding I'm getting closer and more accurate results going with something like this than just uh, a random cardboard box. Uh, for more information about this stuff, check it out, cheesycam.com.